In this presentation we're going to look at the maximum value uh, when we're dealing with matrices. Now this is exercise C4 of my exercise worksheet for Octave. So suppose we have this 5 by 4 matrix B and what we want to do is determine the maximum value for each column, for each row. Those two exercises are simple enough but we want to determine the indices such as i.e. the location for the maximum value for each column and the maximum uh, the location for the maximum value for each row those exercise 3 and 4 are a bit more challenging and also a bit more useful let's just look at this again so for example in this uh, top row here 18 is the maximum value and the first column 18 again is also the maximum value look at this second row column. So let's look at the second column here 15 is the maximum value of that column but 17 is the maximum column of uh, the maximum value of the row that that is on so anyway what we're going to do is just break, go to uh, octave so I have my matrix here B and to find the column maximum all we have to do is simply use the uh, uh, command max without any additional specifications so we in each for each of the four columns what we are returned uh, uh, given as as output are the maximum values for each of the columns now I'll give you a minute there to check that but uh, okay so moving on what we're going to do now is so that's the first part of the exercise so that's you know default setting that's exercise one for exercise two determine the maximum value for each row so again we're going to use the max command but this time we are also going to use the transpose operator so here we have it again so the max of b tran the transpose of b so this will work on the basis of the rows rather than the columns so we're going to get the five values there uh, so we have the five maximums for each row. Uh, we can actually use a, a transpose operator a second time just to get them uh, in column format, which will be uh, probably a bit easier to read, a bit more intuitive. Okay, so two uh, transpose operators there, and that done the trick nicely. Now, the next part is the determine the locations for the indices of the maximum value well what we're going to do is use the full output of the max command so what we're going to have to do is set up a little output um, data object and it's going to contain two sets of values we're going to call the first V for values and L for locations now just to be clear I'm just making I'm just sort of picking intuitive names I don't have to use uh, V and L I could have used M and I so let's see how we do that now so I'm just going to clear the screen again so what I'm going to do is set up V and L like that so that's the that sets up, sets up the output and we're going to use the maximum of B there okay so V is the values but L is the locations now I'm just going to bring that B up there again for a second so the in what this says here the location is that the first value is the maximum in this column and the third values for each of the three, three remaining columns the third values are the maximum there so that is um, how I might do that we're going to uh, let's use M and I for the um, the row uh, maximum just again I don't have to I don't have to stick with uh, V and L so uh, B uh, transpose uh, so let's look at B there now for a second so in this case we have in the f the uh, locations are the first two values uh, in the first rows and the last values in the, the last three rows so 18, 16, 17, 11 and four, uh, 14 and we can access I directly without uh, uh, any further um, uh, coding. Okay, that ends our presentation.